Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a beer tasting. Um, it's another Polish beer. Uh, I've already done the honey beer, uh, which was okay. Give it two bees. It's not a beer I'd uh, session on, uh, if you go and have a look at that review. Um, and this one is from the same brewery. I got this from, like I say, the local town centre to me. is a Polish shop. This one came in at £2.99 for a 500ml bowl. Um, and it's brewed by Staropolski. And it's a Koslak beer. Um, I've got the information here translated because everything that's on the label is uh, Polish. And I apologise if I'm not pronouncing any of this right. I really do. Um, so it's a 5ml bottle. This one comes in at 6.2%. It's saying, does it say what it is? Not really. I'll read that in a minute. Um, I think it's going to be like a dark beer, this one. But it is bottom fermented, like a lager. So... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's get it open. Mrs. B is also going to try these with me. So I'll get a glass. As, yeah, there you go. It is a nice dark looking beer, which is great. It's a dark lager, I suppose. Looking superb in the glass. I mean, the conditioning and the brewing. The last beer as well is superb. It really is, really impressive. I also like the fact they've got the flip top bottles. Um, for me as a home brewer, they're ideal. Reuse them, no problem at all. So you can see a nice creamy, dark, uh, sorry, nice creamy head. Quite a thick head as well. In the glass, there's a lovely, you can't quite see it on the camera, there's a lovely mahogany and then red hue at the bottom of the glass and it goes into like the dark brown of the beer. It looks absolutely superb in the glass, it really does. See if we can get a, a nose on that, with that big creamy head. It's quite difficult to try and get through there. This has got like a, it's got an alcohol aroma, for sure. And you're getting them um, malts. There's definitely a roastiness. I mean, it's like a um, slightly black carafa malt. It's like a, it smells like it's a black malt. It's probably a roasted barley malt in there. That's coming through. But it smells quite boozy, 6.2%. It also smells quite nice. Um, there's definitely a roastiness. There's a bit of toffee in there as well. It smells really good actually. It'd be interesting this one. So let's 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 have a taste. Okay, that's really quite malty. So you get like, in that, you licorice, um, like a dark molasses treacle, um, bit of toffee. It's very similar to like a porter with that, but there's a roastiness there. It's not bitter at all, really. The, the, the smell comes over more bitter than the actual flavor does. quite light in the body as well which is really nice which is also quite dangerous because that is quite easy to drink at 6.2 percent the body is really look at the conditioning look at it, it just looks super the body is a nice light refreshing body but you're getting them dark roasty licorice treacle uh, flavors as well works really well it's not overly carbonated, it's actually light in the carbonation, which is superb. It really is, it's a lovely, lovely beer. Let's uh, get the rest of that bottle in. Yeah, this is, uh, this is neat, this one. Yeah, what to say, well, I, I give the last one, um, like the two Bs. Um, so what would I say about this one? Um, probably, Probably stick to the two Bs. Um, it's just not pushing it out to get the three Bs from me. So yeah, I'd say I'll give it the two Bs. It's a nice beer. I would definitely buy it again. Um, and you can feel that that booze. You can feel that hitting the stomach as well. It's, it's impressive. It really is. It's a multi beer. It's roasty, toasty, 
treacle, licorice on the flavours and it's, it's light as well so you can imagine I could happily eat that, uh, eat that, drink that on a hot day, don't know why I said eat it. What do you get from that? What, what, what flavours do you get? So I assume maybe a little bit of um, dark chocolate. Hmm? As, as, as in the bitterness or just the flavour? Just the flavour, it's only very slight, it's not like in your face. Yeah, it's, it's, it is very much like a, a porter. I don't know if this is like a Polish porter. I don't, I, I really don't know, but it's very similar to a porter, in my opinion, for me. Um, it's very similar to a porter. So yeah, I, I, I give that an easy two Bs. Um, yes, I would buy that again. Um, let's have a read, see what it says on here. Um, Stapolsky Koslak is an unusual beer that combines an exquisite sweetness with hoppy bitterness. Well, I don't find it bitter and I don't find it sweet, so it's got a perfect balance for me. Uh, I don't like over sweet beers, um, so yeah, I think it's got a really good balanced uh, bitter sweet. Um, the characteristic colour and delicate aroma result from the use of as many as five types of malt and the best variety of hops in the production. I'm not getting anything hoppy, but um, in most dark beers, you don't really pull out a lot of hops, especially in the UK traditional porters. You're not really. The hops are not the style of the show, it is the malts, and I think that's the case of this as well. Uh, ingredients, water, the malts are Munich, Pilsen, Aromatic, Melanodian, uh, it's got, oh, and colouring. So, because Munich, Pilsen, and Aromatic and Melanodian are all um, amber at the most, so I don't know where the uh, dark is, but colouring, might be uh, there saying black black malt or roasted uh, barley. I do not know. Um, hops a magnum Sibilia, never heard of that one. Uh, Halatau tradition, and it's a bottle fermenting yeast, dark filtered, pasteurised beer. And yes, uh, two ninety nine fine mill bottle. Yeah, I'd have it again. So yeah, like I said, two bees. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. Okay, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.